Hey, welcome everyone, here is Sika again saying welcome to this channel, welcome to the chapter number 5 of the beginner's guide in Naruto x Boruto. In this chapter we are going to watch how to, how to create your fortress. We are going to see step by step the, step by step the process to create your fortress. We are going to create it from scratch and also we are going to take a look to my fortress. To my, uh, well, I, I recorded this video some uh, like two months ago, so maybe you will see some old ninjas, but that's okay. I think that uh, it, this will help you, okay? So let's begin with this video. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so from the very beginning, here is Gamachi telling you what you need to take, what you need to do, sorry, uh, but well, basically he's explaining to you that uh, the traps and the installation, but, but we are gonna skip all of that, because, well, I'm gonna explain to you that. Um, so yeah, let's, let's skip this very fast, very, very fast, remember this is from scratch, uh, okay? This is the final room, this is really important because the final room is where you can put all the your main ninjas. But let's take a look. This is the terrain where you can select the floor that you want to, to pick. Right now they are gonna give us one terrain for free. So uh, I don't know, I honestly uh, when you are starting the game it doesn't matter which terrain you pick because it's mostly the same okay so whatever you whatever terrain you want to pick from these five i think uh it's okay so right now um let's see i'm gonna pick this one okay so you put it on the save and okay let's just keep that okay okay yes gamachi we understand you those purple squares are the summoning squares where you can summon your main ninjas okay but okay let's explain this so here we have our fortress the really really first fortress that you are gonna have when you're starting the game okay but first let's take a look to so another things so okay here in terrain there are all the terrains that you can pick up but in order to to unlock these terrains you need to have uh, more money or to buy some of these terrains, okay? And these ones are like the... For example, here if I want to purchase this, I wouldn't be able to do that because first I need to clear the mission chapter 3 of the Ninja Way, okay? So that's also important, you need to clear the Ninja Way missions in order to have access to all these terrains. but. Uh, and basically I will recommend you to do that because I think um, let's see I think I use this terrain in my main account okay so yeah you need to to you need to clear those ninja way missions in order to get one of these decent uh, terrains but well what can I tell to you this is the main um, setup that the game give you when you are a beginner okay but don't worry, here we are going to see, we are going to watch how you can create uh, an incredible fortress. Okay, so for example, here are more terrains, I'm gonna buy this one, because you need to pick up uh, terrains that have more space in order to waste the time of your enemies and also to make them uh, to go to all the floor, to explore all the floor, to try to defeat your ninjas, okay? So for example, I, right now I bought this terrain, this is my new terrain as a beginner in this account and you can see here all the installations, the summons, my ninjas, etc, etc, etc. Okay, here in, install, in the installations is where, there, where you can, I will recommend you, you to store all because the game give you, gives you a setup but you need to, to store all the summons and the installations in order to create your personalized fortress. So right now we store all the installations, uh, this, this is a clear um, fortress. Okay, so we come here and we in, in the summoning are the ninjas 
the main ninjas, the purple squares are for your main ninjas, like for example Naruto, Itachi, Sasuke, etc. Okay, those purple squares are the most important uh, squares in summoning. The the other summons are just like uh, cloud ninjas, hidden leaf ninjas, etc. Okay, so I will recommend you to put the four uh, purple squares in order to have four ninjas defending your fortress that's that is also really important because if you have four ninjas defending your fortress you will have a barrier so the enemy will not be able to enter the final room so the ninjas that attack your base will they will need to defeat your ninjas to to break the barrier okay i think that's that that's clear so this is the location I'm creating right now. Remember, this is a really, really uh, the first setup. So in the final room, I would recommend you to to also pick up uh, all the ninjas that the game put in there by default, and I would recommend you to to think a lot about the ninjas that you will put in this floor. I would recommend you ninjas that are really strong that have a lot of defense. In my current fortress I have there Utakata, Naruto, KLM, Rin and Gara. Uh, here I selecting the ninjas that I have here as a beginner in this account. But I would recommend you to put there ninjas with a lot of defense. And if you have a Rin for some reason and her and her ultimate you need to put Rin in the final room because the ultimate allows you to make your allies invincible for a period of time and that's what you're looking for. So and here in the floors I would recommend you to put ninjas that cause damage over time. So for, him, for example Madara, Shisui, Sasuke makes paralysis and Naruto is a good one when you are a beginner. So yeah this is what I would recommend you to do. Okay? Okay so here in installations is where you have like uh, an installation that had some effects like bombs or etc. I'm gonna watch you are going to see further in this video my Korean fortress but this is the the setup for a beginner. In traps the traps are very important and you will uh, need to put a lot of traps in your fortress. You will want to put uh, a lot of these traps okay so let's see okay I'm gonna buy another terrain because you need to buy the if if you can I will recommend you to buy all the terrains obviously these these are only money inside the game uh, fix fix it is not real money okay but when you buy the a lot of terrains the traps the installations and the summoning of those terrains will store in your fortress so you will have more installations and more traps that's why I would recommend you also to buy all the fortress so for example right now you can see I right now I have more installations <laughs> earlier in the video you you see that you saw that I only had like three traps and right now I have more why because I buy more terrains so also take that into account and if you're a beginner you need to do that okay so uh, yeah as you can see even even I'm as a beginner in this account okay in this account you can see that I, I have more more traps so I will put some of them here okay and basically this is what you need to do okay right now we are going to watch my current fortress and we're going to see how a Gokuni fortress looks like Okay, so this is my, uh, well, this was my fortress like one month ago because I, I told you I record I recorded this video like two months ago, but it is it is still a really good uh, uh, tutorial for for a beginner in order to make your fortress strong. Okay, so this is basically uh, the setup that I will recommend you, and I, and also I will recommend you. Um, to to play with the with the aspect of your fortress so some ninjas some traps some installations 
will not will be more difficult to to see them when you are trying to attack uh, the base for example there is my genjutsu trap that it kind of lost with the appearance of my fortress so when the people decide to attack my fortress they doesn't see by fear sight that I have um, I can use to trap but well uh, putting that aside for example here I have all my I have bought all the terrains so I have all the traps all the installations in the game so I will recommend you again to buy all the terrains um, and you you, you just watch earlier in the video that you need more Rio and in order to have more Rio you need to increase your level, your base level, your installations level so yeah I have actually another video, the video number 3 where uh, in that video I explain how you can increase your Rio and your chakra and all of that but well uh, for example here in my final room I have uh, I don't have my stronger ninjas in the final room but I have some ninjas that really help me out so for example by that time I had those ninjas there right now actually I still have the same ninjas except for Sasuke instead of Sasuke I have their Utakata because of Utakata is some of the most maybe he's the most uh, the best shinobi for the final room, Utakata, if you have his three jutsus, okay? But that's for another video. So why Rin? Why I recommend you to put Rin in your fortress? Because the ultimate of Rin, uh, as I told you earlier, will make all your allies invincible, so like for 10-15 seconds. So and she will apply the ultimate by the very first time that you enter to the final room okay what's next okay uh, for example you can see that I have all my ninjas in different floors why because when you do that you force the enemy to explore all your fortress and that 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 makes the enemy that you know when you do that you make the enemy lose time okay here as you can see there are a lot of summoning and actually right now in the game are there are more summons summoning more ninjas more traps more installations okay also a lot a lot of installations but this is important because some of some of these installations are really helpful to make the enemy lose time and also you have large animal which are for example the QB the HB are the BUs okay right now we in the game we do not have all the videos nor all the all the jinchurikis so you also take need to take into account that maybe in the future they will introduce more videos maybe even the jubi or the susano like the surprise attack missions when we fight okay so what else what else i need to tell you as you can see i have a lot of traps a lot of these traps that sends the enemy to another floor okay those traps the gray ones are really important because you want to separate the crew the tornado trap is really helpful the tornado trap will send the enemy to another room so for example but also a tornado trap that is brown this one the gray one will send the enemy to another floor but the brown one will just um, make uh, the enemy confused in the same floor okay so the gray ones are the important traps when you do not have when you don't have any ninjas in one floor okay so I also have there this like house with Jira when Jiraiya was with Yahiko and Conan because even that trap uh, increased the HP of the enemy uh, it makes losing time and you will see that in the base one of the most important things is to make the enemy to lose time okay also obviously to defeat the enemy but uh, make them lose time is also really really healthy so okay for example here I have Naruto uh, with uh, this trap the camouflage crystal when the enemy uh, activate dot trap 
that trap will make that my ninja will not be visible for the enemy. So I will recommend you those uh, traps. These, these are the traps that I will recommend you to use. For example, here with Kabuto, we I also have these scrolls. That they're scrolls that are the really tiny green things there. The, those traps will seal the enemy. These ones, sealing crawl, and those are really really helpful uh, traps because the enemy will not be able to see them, and when they activate it they will be sealed, so they will not be able to use any jutsu. Here we have more tornado trap, because what I want is to separate the enemy. Here I have, uh, well, by that time I had there Sasuke, and here is the resuscitation ninja trap, which allows you to resuscitate your ninja when defeated, okay? So that's also really important. If you don't know how to get the resuscitation trap, I also have a video that is the number four or this beginner's guide where I tell you, I explain you how to get the genjutsu trap and the resuscitation trap. But well, okay, so this is the look. I actually am, um, maybe, I, I, I think I, I can think that by, for example, here I have Indra and the genjutsu trap. Why? Because Indra has jutsus that seal the enemy, that inflict paralysis on the enemy and the genjutsu trap also inflict uh, seal and confusion on the enemy. So this is a really, com a really nice combination. Right now you have a lot of ninjas in the game that will be uh, maybe more helpful. For example, Minato, KLM, uh, Madara with six pads. So by the time I record this video, those were the ninjas I had. Right now I have more ninjas. So I also, I, I, I'm not concerned about that you are watching my my fortress so you will know how to defeat me so well that was like one more two months ago so everything is fine but this is a really helpful video for example there i have also the mirage trap so basically this is this ch this chakra absorbing trap is also important because when the enemy destroy it it will um, steal and it, chakra from the from the enemy right now in the game you also have more traps that have uh, an effect that makes the enemy to lose chakra i would recommend you to put those traps okay so right now let's take a look to my fortress with my ninja sasuke to see how you can defeat or who can you play for example here i the traps send me here and i will defeat naruto and then susano well, first, yeah, Susano. Okay, so right now, let's see if I can defeat my own fortress. And it should be easily because I know my fortress, okay? But Sasuke is, okay, good. Let's, okay, as you can see now, the Genjutsu Trap inflicts seal and confusion on me, and Indra well my susano is really really nice okay now indra seal me i'm in, I'm in danger okay this is a really nice combination because right now i'm paralyzed i cannot do nothing and indra just defeat me okay so let's see a real attack to my fortress from another people here we have a record uh an, an, an attack mission on my fortress by i don't know who so I separate them right now, here is Naruto against my Naruto, but my Naruto already sealed him, okay, let's see Naruto, you can with him, you can defeat him, okay, we already defeat one, and as you can see right now they are separate again, so now it's Hashirama against Naruto, okay Naruto come on, Hashirama is already defeated, Okay, right now let's see what happened to to Ashura. He was again against uh, Naruto. Okay, Naruto, let's see how you do this. Okay, Ashura is already sealed, and Naruto is making damage. Okay, so let's see how was the path for Indra. 
that's why I would recommend you to to use those traps because you want to uh, separate the ninjas because if you separate them they will they are weak uh, one ninja is it has uh, less chances to win okay so right now Indra lose chakra with my trap there let's see he is already out of uh, support ninjas and right now he's gonna face Sasuke okay let's wait to this okay right now he's sealed let's see let's see how it goes Indra versus Sasuke okay okay Sasuke with Susano okay Amaterasu and that's it Indra is already defeated so that was the example of my fortress defending okay so that's all for this video i hope you find this video very useful for when you're a beginner these are the tricks and tips that i will i will recommend you to to do okay so you see how to, how to make the initial setup for your fortress and also you can see how uh, Goku in Fortress is made. So let's see. Let's see you in another video.